Hey there, Laurel Beard here, and today I'm here with the guest post for the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft blog. I'm so happy to be here, and I'm going to be making uh, something using the Gelatos and Sticky Back Canvas. I wanted to make something for my daughter's room, so this is what I'm going to make. It's actually up in her room right now, and I love it. So let's get started. I um, This is the Sticky Back Canvas here, and I'm pairing it up with the Peony Garden Background Stamp by a company called The Ton. I'm going to ink up that peony background with some Versamark ink, and then I'm going to press my canvas directly onto the stamp there. And then I'm going to heat emboss it. So I'm going to sprinkle on some super fine clear embossing powder, and then I'm going to go ahead and heat set that. Now in this video, I'm going to make a mistake, and it's a silly one, and I hope you laugh with me, not at me, but I kept it in the video for you. I make mistakes all the time. So uh, anyway, this is Sticky Back Canvas. It's called Sticky Back Canvas. I said it many times in this video already, so it has a sticky back. <laughs> Remember that when I move on to the next step here. So I'm melting that embossing powder and it makes the, the lines of that peony background just invisible almost, and it's, it's just really cool. I've never uh, heat embossed on canvas. This is probably the third time I've ever used Sticky Back Canvas, so I'm being very daring here by doing this on camera. So I'm taking these gelatos. All the colors that I use will be accompanied or be listed on the blog here that accompanies uh, this video. So I'm just uh, scribbling on these colors, just various places over my canvas. Now here's what I would have done differently. I would have taken off the backing, because yes, it's a sticky back canvas. I would have taken off the backing and adhered it down flat to my work surface, because I'm going to spritz it with water and it's going to curl up. Yeah, sticky back canvas laurel, you know what I'm saying? So if you do this, go ahead and adhere that down flat to your work surface and then you won't have these little problems. I made it work, you know, as Tim Gunn says, you gotta make it work, and I did, uh, but it sure would have been a heck of a lot easier if I would have just adhered that down flat. So I've got all the colors of gelatos down. I'm going around the edges with some of that pink. I sprayed it with water. I blended it with water, a paintbrush, my finger, just whatever you wanna blend it with, you can. Gelatas react to moisture, so they would react to the moistures in your finger, to a paintbrush, even to a wet wipe. So finally, I've come to my senses here, and I've adhered that down to the back of, uh, or to some, I'm working off of a little piece of hardy board there, but whatever work surface you work off of, and uh, so much easier to work with. So I'm going in with a coconut colored gelato and just kind of lightening up some of those areas, almost creating a little shadow here. I think it's so pretty. I love gelatos, and they're calorie free. <laughs> So that's a little damp wet wipe. I'm just going over it one more time, just blending all those colors together, and I just think that's so pretty. And I love the texture from the canvas with those gelatos, so pretty. So that's some gel medium by Design Memory Craft, and I'm gonna just paint a coat over the top, and I'm gonna do this to go ahead and set those gelatos. I wanted to kind of seal it all in, so this is almost acting as a sealant for me, so I can move on to the next step and finish this out. So those colors I chose uh, purposely because they work well in my daughter's room. Obviously you can customize this to whatever you want, whatever colors you wanna do, whatever background you wanna work with. So this is some Texture Luxe and the color Pearl. I've never used this before either. I'm very daring doing all these firsts on this video. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put, that's just some white cardstock there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that Texture Luxe and I'm gonna rub a coating just directly over my finger. You could grab a paintbrush if you wanted to, but. You know, I've always got my fingers, so I went ahead and uh, just putting on a smooth coat there of that Texture Lux. It does not take long for this to dry, but I tell you, this stuff is pretty. It goes on super smooth. It goes on like butter, and it dries, and you get this pearly shine. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to die cut that uh, word die love you out with that uh, right over that Texture Lux piece. And I just love the shine that it leaves behind. This is a detailed die, so I had to get a little pokey tool and poke poke the die out of the, the die, poke the, the die cut out, and then I gotta poke out the little pieces in there. And I just, it's hard to capture that on camera, but it's it's pearly and it's, it's uh, shiny. It's really quite pretty, and it will go good against that canvas background there. So, yeah, peeling up that sticky back canvas, and I'm attaching it to just a white piece of scratch cardstock that I have. That's gonna be my base for my, my frame, you know, because this is going inside a picture frame, but you could also do this for the front of your card. You can know you can trim down this piece. This canvas, I don't know if I mentioned it before, is four by six because it's gonna go in a four by six frame. So if you're making this into a card, just stick it on the front of a card front, whatever you want to do. But I'm working, gonna, you know, turn this into a frame. So I needed it to be four by six. So I needed a backing. So I'm gonna take that same glue that I used before 
and I'm gonna uh, just paint that on the back of my die cuts there and adhere that down. This is gel medium is super strong. And then I'm gonna go over the top of it with that gel medium because I do not want those word dies falling off. And then I went ahead and trimmed that down to four by six and then popped it into a frame and that's it. This is in my daughter's room and it's so pretty. I love gelatos. Gelatos makes everything so easy. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Again, all the supplies that I used and exact colors are listed on the blog. Thank you guys so much for watching. And you see that little subscribe button? If you click on it, you'll be subscribed to my YouTube channel, and I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day.